Welcome to our video with almost every species of crocodilian in the world, including this beautiful Cuban crocodile right here. Isn't that a nice looking crocodile? And then there's this creepy creeper that's creeping also. What about this false gharial with that mouth wide open? He or she is amazing. I, look at that. Look at that beautiful shot. You're gonna get lots of these. This is not just a video with just crocodiles. If you want a boring video that has just pictures of crocodiles with some lame music, I'll put a link for that down in the description. We got people in this video. We do cool people stuff too. So, and maybe even a couple of uh, venomous snakes along the way. Who knows, you never know what you're gonna see around here. And this is our beautiful tour guide, Caitlin, who did a fantastic job for us. Welcome to the show. Yeah. This is Caitlin. I just Hi, it. how's She's it going? She's on the spot. <laughs> Hello. Ha! Ah, top of the morning, friends and family. How you? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall over. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Oh my gosh, it's so bright out here. Phoenix Herpetological Society. We are at the sanctuary for the said society. And the first time I saw these guys was actually the Sacramento show a while back. They came with this whole trailer right here, loaded down with the venomous animals and all kinds of crocodilians. And I just realized I'm standing in front of a whole buttload of tortoises back here. So this place reportedly has almost every species of crocodilian there is on the planet. So my plan is to go inside, show them to you guys, and have a wonderful old time. How about it? You want to do it? Let's do it. Let's go. So there's like 500 rescued sulcatas here at this sanctuary. That is an insane Please don't buy number. sulcatas. Just go Come rescue, rescue an adult I'll put a link ones. down in the description for this society, this sanctuary. If you want to get a big tortoise, come rescue one here. There is a load. No, Sage, you ready to see a bunch of crocodilians? Yeah. I want to sign my life away some more. Look at this, buddy. All right, I know we came here to show you guys the crocodilians and all of a sudden we're seeing just tortoises, but I have to show you the, the size of these tortoises in here. Why is it so dark again, Hartle? Help me out, dude. Why is my video so dark? There oh, we go. Oh, that's it's better. It's moody and cinema cin cinematic. Can you get in there so we can get a reference size? I was about to go in there. There's I saw the poop on the ground. a lot of poop. But I think it might be worth it. Oh my gosh, look at these things. So this is so cool, I've, I've, you know, like, I think a lot of us in the reptile trade have seen baby galops or eldabras, but I don't think, like, that big galop out front, I don't think I've ever pet a Galapagos tortoise that big. We have a sanctuary down in Rio Grande that there's actually some huge galops I've gotten to hang out with, but that's, that's a, I think, a unicorn. Yeah. So, like, you see this thing and, like, the odd shape of the shell and everything like that. It just looks like the pictures that you see from the Galapagos Islands. When you have an animal that's this big, it just makes you think like the, the things that it's seen in its life, you know? It's so cool. I don't know, I had a lot of fun with that with you guys in the desert, just herping like the, the, the stories of life stories that all these animals have gone through. It's, it's kind of cool just to just to be next to them and, and kind of like share the space for a minute. All right, guys, one pit stop. All right, guys, I'm, no, I, that, I, I, I sit next to you and all of a sudden I'm doing it. On you. <laughs> one last pit stop before we go in and see the crocodilians. We just came from the grand opening of the CMB Reptile Shop. Dave filmed a very all inclusive video at that shop. If you would like to see that, and Dave and everybody that was there, he did a really good job, actually. I was watching. I was waiting to, for a moment to make fun of him for messing up, and he never really did. So I was just kind of like, okay, well, I guess that's happening. I did just a couple of times just for your sake. Yeah, Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And somehow I missed it. But yeah. link for that video is down in the description right here. So go check it out. Wait, when are you putting that video out? 24th. The link for that video will be down here some point after the 24th because this video is going up before then. Yeah, so you film your videos, and they're nice and fresh. And, and like within a day or two, I film a video and put it up six months later. Link for Dave's channel down in the description. You can see everything that happened here today, six months from now. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first crocodilians we're gonna see here are the black caiman. And I know that because Caitlin just said so. <laughs> are they aggressive? They can be, yes. So these guys are native to South America, but we actually got these individuals from Denmark. So they flew from Denmark to Amsterdam to Detroit and then here about three and a half years ago. Can they be nice? Yeah, but we let them do 
their thing and we don't interact with them too much, so they're more of a wild animal. Black came in, yeah! All right, next on the list is a Chinese alligator. Yeah, so there's only a few hundred of these guys left in the wild. They were hunted to pretty much extinction in the wild because their hide is used for things like bags and belts and boots, oh, though they cute. wear it a lot better. A dwarf crocodile in here. Oh, he's under his little hide right there. He's actually going to go to India um, soon. Then we have a little freshwater crocodile in here. So these are from Australia and they're said to be a bit more easygoing than the saltwater crocodiles, though she's a little bit crazy and likes to jump like two feet in the air. It's pretty crazy wow, to a, see a croc do that. <laughs> wow. So in here we've got an American alligator, Mr. Stubbs. He's the only alligator that's been fitted with a prosthetic tail I think in, in the world. It sounds crazy. Just the idea of it. So this dude back here is a dwarf crocodile. So I apologize if it's kind of hard to see some of these things. I'm getting as close as I can through the gates, as close as we're allowed to get to show you. So hopefully you can see them well. Doing my best. King Cobra. King Cobra. Yeah, he's about 13 feet and 25 yeah, pounds. Like oh, wow. Yeah, so <laughs> when we do um, uh, uh, private uh, tours or uh, camps, uh, this whole thing of vision cages actually rolls back. So we can put the cobras and mamas and stuff right here so the kids can sit here and look at them wow. from behind the glass. So that's wow. pretty cool. That's one. really neat. Yeah, there's a the Bushmaster up there. <laughs> but he's usually hiding. So this whole room we're in right now is loaded with venomous snakes, like all kinds of crazy species of venomous snakes. And they actually rolled with all these guys to that Sacramento show that I filmed a while back. So I'm gonna put a link for the sack show if you missed that. You can see all these venomous snakes back here in this room that I filmed, that they brought in their trailer. Pretty amazing feat to bring all these animals to the show, like insane. Just looking at what it is in the room now. And there's way too much here. I said I was gonna focus on the Crocodilians, okay, here's, here's one. Here's Taylor's Cantillo, which is from Central America. And there we've got a copperhead. Probably a lot of you folks in the other country recognize those. Whoa, look at this. Look at that puff adder right there. That thing is off the hook. It's also deep in shed, but whoa. This is a wrinkles cobra. Look at that thing. It's like it's piebald or something. Pretty cool. Oh, great basin rattlesnake. Ooh. Wow. We were looking for a blue speck when we were out there when we found that diamondback on the herping video. If you watched the end of that herping video, you saw that diamondback. Now, this is what we were looking for when we found that diamondback, but not complaining about the diamondback, but that's a pretty sweet looking rattlesnake right there. Mmm, black mamba. This, I had to show that this is possibly the most massive snake shed I've ever seen intact. This thing is enormous. I'm guessing that it's an anaconda based on the eye placement on the top of the head shed. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what kind of snake you think this is based on this shed. But again, just massive. Like, it's literally as wide as my head. And I know they stretch, obviously, when they shed out a little bit. But this thing is... Like, I've, I've never... I've got big snakes, but none of them ever shed out in one big whole piece just like this. It's just impressive. Never seen anything quite like it. Head to tail. Very cool. All right, back outside to some spectacled caiman. In fact, you know, I, I'm not that worried about it. It's not like I'm doing a, a I national. So bad I I'm not doing a going. National Geographic documentary. It's a, <laughs> it's a life. It's a lifestyle vlog. Yeah, I got it's, you. Family is a huge part of the channel. Okay. Like a huge part. Probably the most important part of the channel, oh, honestly. I actually have no idea why they call them spectacle came in. Leave a comment down below if you do. I mean, I could go Google it, or you can leave a comment down below. It's up to you. But like, if you look at the specs, like, look at this guy in the back. I don't That's know. way too far away for this camera. Okay, sorry. If you look in the back, you can see the little spectacled bridge across the nose. I'll zoom as much as I can, but I'm not promising being able to see anything back there. And I don't know if this little dude's not showing it, or if this is like a pet trade spectacled caiman, because you can't get spectacles anymore, but back when you could, they used to cross them a lot with Yukari caimans, which are also very hard to get and they would call them diamond caimans and stuff. So I'm, I'm just wondering if that's what it is because the, the bridge across the nose where the spectacles should be is little to none on this one. I don't know if you do things in a certain order or whatnot, but I was really, really like the Orinocos. Are, what, are the Orinocos back here? Yes, they are. <laughs> and we could go up top and look at them from the 
deck too, but we can't take too many people up there so okay. the kids and stuff can stay okay. down there. So we got the American alligators first, Charlie and Lucy. Enormous. Charlie's right there, and then Lucy's back over there. They were our first crocodilians we got in 2003 when an old lady lost her cat and was looking over her neighbor's yards and found two six-foot alligators and called the police. Because <laughs> they're illegal here. Dude, the thing is massive. Oh my! Clint, on the ginormous scale, where would you put that alligator? Max enormous. Max enormous? Yeah, for an alligator. All right, we got the big Orinoco right here. This is my favorite crocodile on the planet. I wish this this one, has, of course, has the most mesh and uh, chain mail in front of it. That's a crocodile. And then back over here, we've got an American crocodile. All right, this one over here is super. This is a Nile crocodile right here, right up against the fence. Back here with its mouth open is a Siamese crocodile. And back over here we got an Orinoco, another Orinoco crocodile. So what a crocodile. Kind of far away, sorry. What's that, Noah? Saltwater croc. They're one of my favorite crocodilians. Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know croc. What about crocodiles? That they are really cool, and a croc. And we're here at the sanctuary of reptiles, and. Everybody knows that already. Okay, um, and there is one alligator, I think it's an American alligator, far over there with a stub for a tail and... We know that already too. Okay. What do you know? And this is the fake tail for it. Nice. My favorite rep... Um, crocodilian is a Nile crocodile. Oh, you just said it was a saltwater crocodile. Saltwater is my second. Oh, okay. An American crocodile is my third. Why is Nile crocodile your second? Or why is your Nile crocodile your favorite? Because they live everywhere in Africa and I think Africa is pretty cool. I think this is going to be the only one of the crocodilians that I can actually show you that's not going to be through a fence because I can actually reach up over the top here. So, got a slender snouted crocodile. kind of work that we filmed through the top so you can see that slender snout. <laughs> okay, so I just want to tell the folks watching, so I, I noticed over here you got virtually adopted. This false gharial by Jackson Browning has been virtually adopted. Yes. How, how does that work? So it's kind of like a sponsorship. So people that really like a certain animal or species can virtually adopt them off our website. And we put up the signs with their name or a little message that they want to put up there. Sometimes businesses will do it as well to promote their business. And then they could come visit or I can send pictures to them text message or email so it's just helping us provide care for the animals in a little extra special way perfect well, i'll put a link down in the description so if you want to virtually adopt one of the animals here you can go on the website and easily do that thank you so they've actually got a third orinoco crocodile over here these guys are critically endangered in fact it's unfortunately likely that we'll see the end of this species hopefully they do have males and females here they're having trouble getting them to get along but hopefully they can get them to get along so that we do not lose this species entirely. This is getting, this is my favorite species of crocodile. It would be a real bummer to see him go. I got the whole little baby one time. It was incredible. <sighs> no, but there's something about these guys, dude. They're just like, I don't know, dude. There's something magical. Maybe it's because of the Enya song. I don't know. No, am I not, am I not ringing a bell there? Oh, I've, uh... Enya. All yeah, right. When we go hope, when we go hope with the Orinoco flow, you can see he, if you be he, where you really like to go. Sail away, sail away, sail away. <laughs> sail away, sail away, sail away. Sail away. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, great one. What's this one? A uh, melanistic slender snout. Isn't she cool? Yeah. I know what you think. What buddy. kind? I don't know. Is she awesome. from Florida? From, uh, what's his name? All right, this is the last crocodile I'm show. I don't know that I've shown you all the crocodilians here yet, but we came, we came really, it was close. No, there's more crocodilians. He's not showing you because yeah, he doesn't have his subscribers. Leave a comment down below if you're some kind of professional or some kind of geek that knows every type of species of crocodile, which they're missing two here, if you, depending on how you describe them. Yeah. And let us know how many of them I uh, showed you today and if how many were missing. Actually, and yes. let me know. Say Garrett was right in the comments below if you just wanted to see more crocodiles because they had a lot more here. <laughs> He's a monster, and for no reason, here's Dave. <laughs> There's always a reason. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on the next one. Aloha. <laughs> Good ending. <laughs> He's not going to edit this. There's no way Brian Cusco is going to edit this in order, but we just got finished about how he didn't show you everything, and here's one he didn't show you. <laughs> Broads, no! Oh, what happened to your camera? Shush. I'm trying to film through the uh, thing. It's not easy. That's crazy. What? It's just the baby colors. Mm. Like, that sucker's crazy. Are you filming me? Yeah, just well, it's more about the background. I was just making context with you. Oh. I catch one of these rare moments where I do something for social media. Oh, sweet. You ready? Yeah. Watch this. I want to try to do something for social media. I don't know how to, like, make a post or a story or whatever, so I just put them on a camera roll. They never get posted, but... Oops, that was a photo. <laughs> I have to get a video. Come on, Garrett. <laughs> This is pretty crazy, guys. Out here in Phoenix, looking at how many species of crocodiles do they have? 22 of the 24. That's crazy. I think there was only 21 when I was a kid. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video on all of the crocodilians. I leave you with this beautifully shot, poignant scene of love.